In 1943, Frank Lloyd Wright was commissioned to design a building to house the Museum of Non-Objective Painting, which had been established by the Solomon R. Guggenheim Foundation in 1939. In a letter dated June 1, 1943, Killer Rebay, the curator of the foundation and director of the museum, instructed Wright, I want a temple of spirit, a monument. Wright's inverted ziggurat design was not built until 1959. Numerous factors contributed to this 16-year delay, modifications to the design all told, the architect produced six separate sets of plans and 749 drawings, the acquisition of additional property, and the rising costs of building materials following World War II. The death of the museum's benefactor, Solomon R. Guggenheim, in 1949 further delayed the project. It was not until 1956 that construction of the museum, renamed in Guggenheim's memory, finally began. Wright's masterpiece opened to the public on October 21, 1959, six months after his death, and was immediately recognized as an architectural icon. The Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum is arguably the most important building of Wright's late career. A monument to modernism, the unique architecture of the space, with its spiral ramp riding to a domed skylight, continues to thrill visitors and provide a unique forum for the presentation of contemporary art. In the words of critic Paul Goldberger, Wright's building made it socially and culturally acceptable for an architect to design a highly expressive, intensely personal museum. In this sense almost every museum of our time is a child of the Guggenheim.